Well, the fashion industry is in the spotlight as environmentalists point to its impact on the planet. As the world marks Earth Day, campaigners have been promoting a move away from fast fashion to more ecologically and socially responsible supply chains. Each year, an estimated 100 billion garments are purchased globally and 92 million tons are thrown out, a figure which is on the rise. Sally Patterson reports from New York. Buried beneath these piles of clothes lies the hidden cost of fast fashion. Produced cheaply, worn briefly and discarded. Recycling company Helpsy wants to change that. In 1999, the typical American threw away 44 pounds of clothes. Now they throw away more than 100 pounds of clothes. This is a hugely growing problem. It's really a US-centric problem um, and we believe it's a major contributor to climate change. So one of the reasons that we really got it got excited about clothing recycling and about this direction for Helpsy is to extend the number of wares that each piece of clothing has. So if the first person who bought that piece of clothing doesn't want to wear it again, we want to make it available to, to another person. And that's how we partner up with the thrift stores and online resellers to make that happen. Helpsy staff categorize some textiles here by brand and condition before they're resold while others are bundled and sent directly to companies and charities. 100,000 items are collected every day across four huge warehouses. Here in New Jersey, 20,000 pieces are sorted five days a week in a bid to keep these textiles in people's closets and out of landfill. It's one innovative solution to a problem that stretches far beyond America's borders. Countries in the global south have become a dumping ground for richer nations' cast-offs. About 15 million pieces of second-hand clothing arrive in Ghana every week, according to the Orr Foundation. Most from the United States and Europe. And environmentalists warn that more than 40% of it ends up on beaches or in waste facilities. Experts stress the need for transparent and ethical supply chains, knowing where materials come from, where they end up, and even reimagining what materials we're using in the first place. I think the fashion industry has an amazing opportunity to drive innovation through sustainability over the next 10 years. They can do this in a number of ways. One is around the materials that they use. So we're seeing an enormous amount of innovation in everything from using um, sawdust eating fungi to make leather, to growing leather, leather in labs, to materials made out of um, discarded milk, uh, you know, so there's all this innovation happening around the materials to reuse uh, product in the materials. So I think that's one really exciting innovation. Another way, Professor Whalen says, is improving circularity, using old products to make new ones. That's exactly what trailblazers in the industry are doing, styling unwanted materials into imaginative new wardrobes. Primarily, we use a lot of dead stock materials, things that are sourced in like Los Angeles and New Jersey, and like crazy basements all over the world. Um, and we also work with our factories if they have dead stock materials. So like our jerseys all made with over runs of production from other companies so that we use their waste. And then so the, the um, qualities will change every season. <laughs> This year, fashion brand Kalina Strada turned heads at New York Fashion Week, using its platform to raise awareness about environmental issues. The animal-inspired collection, titled Please Don't Eat My Friends, was made using a range of sustainable and upcycled fabrics. It's one of many eco-friendly brands leading the way by sketching out a more sustainable future for fashion. Sally Patterson, CNA, New York.